So, I finally got the microphone that I've wanted for so long. The Rode NT USB mic. I've wanted this mic for a very long time for both my streaming and my YouTube. And let's unbox it. I'm also going to unbox this mic uh, stand, which I've got. It's a budget mic stand, but it looks really good. Um, we'll unbox this as well, and it's the Influencer Microphone Boom Kit. Let's go! So, first up, I'm going to open up the Rode Microphone. Now, Rode is an Australian company, and they make, I think, one of the best microphones, or the best microphones in the market. And... Yeah, I just, I've never owned one and I really wanted to for my content creation, so let's do it. Now, I don't know where you got to open this from. There's probably a sticker somewhere. Somewhere, if I can figure it out. Alright, so I've quickly cut the sticker off. So I think we can just slide it. Yup, just like that. Okay, now we have the inner box, which has the microphone on it. This microphone can be used for your iPad, your phone, as well as your consoles and your your PCs, you know? So that's one of the reasons I got this specific mic, because I can use it in different types of gadgets. Okay, let's open it up. Now I think that we do get a bag, a little pouch maybe, but I haven't seen it so far. There's the mic. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It does come with the... I think this is called a pop filter. Um, so, the mic comes with both the pop filter and the mic connected together. Put that on the side for now. We do get a little pouch. And... It is very nice, actually. I, I don't know if it's leather, but it feels... It has the leather texture. texture and it does have the Rode branding. There is something inside of it, um, and it is the manual or the, some booklet, which I'll quickly take out. So it's the safety and regulation, and I think this this is a sticker. I think you get an I Love Rode microphone sticker. That's pretty cool, and you do get the little book about it and how to use it, I guess. Moving on, you also get this really long wire uh, for the mic. It is around six meters long. Um, that's what it says on the website. And for me personally, this is going to be really useful because my console is a bit further away from where I game from. So yeah, this will be really useful. Then there is a little box here. I'm not sure what's in there. Okay, so these are. This is the tripod that you get, and this can simply attach to the bottom of the mic. And yeah, it'll be a simple little tripod for your desk. I won't be using this though because I do have the stand that clips on uh, for my gaming setup, but this will always be useful. Now moving on to the actual mic. First impressions, it feels like it's really sturdy. It is. It does have weight to it, and I would say that's a good thing because you know that it's that it's going to last for a long time. Let's just slide this out really quickly. There's also a little tag at the bottom which says. Uh, Activate your free extended warranty, which is pretty cool, and I'll probably be doing that. And yeah, as I said, it was it feels really nice and heavy. It has weight to it. Now, the, I'll probably just take this off real quick. Okay, that comes out just easy like that. Now, the, the pop filter can move around the mic as so, and you can probably just tighten it here if you want on the bottom when you screw it and now it does not move around. This piece over here I'm guessing is for the tripod, so let's try and connect it. By the way, the tripod does have rubber ends, which is really good for grip on your desk or your table. You can simply just screw it on like this, like so. To tighten the pop filter, there is a little screw type of thing at the bottom, and then it just tightens it up like that. And to tighten this, you just turn the knob, and just like that, you have a standing microphone. On the side of the microphone you have a headphone jack for your headphones and then you also have two knobs. Now I'm not 100% sure what these two knobs do 
but I'm guessing this one is to adjust uh, how much noise is taken in from your mic or how much noise is taken in from your computer or a another device. The bottom knob, if I'm again guessing, would probably be how much volume is taken from the mic in. And yeah, overall, it just feels like really sturdy and I feel like it's a really good quality mic. Moving on to the microphone boom kit. This is a really um, budget boom kit that I found on JB High Five in Australia. It was around $30 and I feel like it can do the job. It does come with its own pop filter, but obviously the Rode mic already has that. And now take out the stickers that's holding the lid in place and I think Yep, just like that, you can open up the lid. And as I said, it also does come with its own pop filter, but I won't be using this one. It is very big, this pop filter. And I'm guessing it'll be pretty easy to stuff on. Unlike the Rhodes pop filter, this one is a material. The Rode has a metal pop filter. Then moving on, you do have these two parts, which I'm guessing are for connecting the stand or the boom kit to your desk. And this piece will be for attaching the item to your actual desk. It does feel like a really strong clamp and yeah, we're just gonna have to test it out. Then the actual product itself, which is very tightly in this sponge, it does come folded up, which you can just easily unfold. Now initially it won't uh, stay in place, but then you can rotate this knob to make it tighter for it to stay in place, like so. So that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you do want to see a setup of the mic and the stand as well, um, if you do want to have a look at my setup. Whoa. If you do want to see a review of the mic, please let me know in the comments down below. And also if you want to see a setup, um, tour or review, um, also do let me know. Um, I'm also streaming on Twitch. I'll leave my link below. Um, please do go and follow me on Twitch as well because that will help me a lot. I've only recently started streaming and streaming is very new to me. So I've had to buy all these new products for streaming. And I think this will also be helpful for YouTube as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.